Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're going to be reviewing the new Urban Decay Dream Cover Foundation. I've been hanging on to this for a while now. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Alishba Rashad. So thank you so much for your comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. So this foundation I actually got on Boots and it is currently at $10.99. We're just going to do a quick read through the description and it says it's flawless coverage, city protection and SPF 50 and I think the SPF 50 is what really caught my eye. The protective foundation is enriched with antioxidants such as vitamin E, vitamin B3 and baseline and helps to form a shield and defend skin from pollution. This lightweight full coverage foundation comes in 20 shades and is best suited to normal dry skin types. I think the things that really really like stood out to me is good for normal to dry skin. I have really dry skin full coverage and a lightweight feel. I'm not mad at that description. I'm not mad. I say that a lot. So for the shade range, 20. to be honest, this one, I think that's why I've been putting off. It's, quite, it's a bit darker for me and the one above it is too light. So there's a bit of a jump between the two and I think 20, it's quite refreshing to see a nice shade range like that in the drugstore, but I definitely think they can improve on that. Like they can definitely do more shades in between shades, deeper shades. I just feel like they could do better. Let's just try this, shall we? My skin, my skin has been terrible lately. It's starting to heal now. It is starting to get a little bit better, but I've been getting really bad pigmentation bits here. So this is what the foundation looks like. And I'm in the shade 330, which is so weird because I'm that shade in Fenty Beauty as well. What a coincidence. So it's, the foundation itself is quite liquidy and that's the colour. So you can tell it's a little bit darker and a bit warm for me. To be honest, I'm hoping like once I blend it out, it's not going to be that dark. I mean, it is, it is quite dark. I'm just blending it out with my beauty blender. Oh, that is quite dark actually. Thing with darker foundations, I just love how it like. Oh. That is so dark. If I like the formula, then maybe I will get like a lighter one. But that is so. That's so dark. <laughs> brought the brightness down which is a bit more true to colour <sighs> but to be honest very hydrating I like the glow it's covered like my pigmentation a bit but I wouldn't say it's full coverage medium to full maybe but this is not full coverage because I can still see bits of my skin through but let's see if we can just fix this shall we okay i'm gonna be right back i'll just do the rest of my makeup and i'll let you know what i think of the foundation all right guys i'm now back so first of all i love how my skin looks right now like i love being tan but you know my chest is so pale just i'm so lazy but i bronze my chest up by the way can you believe i'm wearing the fenty beauty bronzer i've been using the um benefit caramel one more lately because it's a bit darker and easier to pack on whilst with the fenty one i really need to build up but you know it's it's actually a really good color for me everything seemed to blend really easily it's very like soft it's very lightweight and definitely a dewy foundation really good for dry skin it didn't go anywhere flaky on my nose area or anything like that again easy to blend medium to full coverage i would say what else and it's got spf 50 i think that's the bonus the only thing that i'm really bothered about is the shade i'm not the greatest fan of mixing unless the product really stands out to me
I wouldn't mind getting a lighter shade in this, but I don't know. I just have to wear it for a few hours, so I'm going to do that. So far, so good. I mean, the only thing that's bothering, bothering me is the shade, and it's very dark. This is more NT44 shade, and when I wear NT44, that's how dark it looks on me. And it's a very warm colour. The one I was going to get was Almond, which is a nice olivey shade to mix with this, so that's maybe I'll, what I'll do, but we'll see. Let's see how this looks, how the smile lines look. We'll just see. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. It's now 8 a.m. <sighs> so yeah, I'll just be back later. Uh, it's now 9 p.m. I've had this on for a good 12 hours. And I was literally just working out. Like, literally just stopped running for a good, like, 10 minutes. Not stopping. To be honest, that's a big improvement to me to, like, run. It's kind of like a jog run. But the thing is that when I first got my treadmill, which was a year ago... Was it a year ago? Two, year, two years ago, I think. I could barely run for like a minute straight. Like, I was so unfit. And like, my arms are finally starting to get a little bit small. Just need to use this. But to be honest, do you know what, guys? If I wasn't eating all the crap that I eat, I'd probably be lost a much more weight. I'm really stagnating right now, and it's so annoying. <laughs> I've been wearing this foundation and I'm proper sweating on my top lip like I usually do and it's actually doing pretty good at holding that back and my forehead. A little bit is on my forehead. I don't really sweat from my face to be honest. I think this foundation is not bad. I'm really tempted to get like a lighter shade so I can I can just wear it all year round and like mix for my shade because I'm really happy like smile lines are not there. Only a little bit like here maybe but it's very minimal. And the foundation stayed really, really nice. By the way, the lip that I'm wearing is this Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint. And I'm trying like, I put a little bit in the center to do that. You know, I think it's like Korean lip trend, I think. It's actually not bad. I kind of like it. But yeah, I am really happy with this. SPF 50 as well. To be honest, I wouldn't just say this is enough. Like when you wear SPF, I think I got this from like Wayne Goss, you know, Ghost makeup artist on YouTube. He says you need a lot of SPF on your face, so still wear like another SPF. My favorite one is a, the Body Shop Skin Defense, which is another SPF 50. Just wear that underneath, put this on top, and you're just protected. Try and bring it down your neck as well. I'm really bad at putting SPF on my body, which I need to do more often and find like a good SPF that's for the body that is not like ashy. I can't believe I've worn this so long and it looks like I've literally just done my makeup. Thank you so much for watching guys. Would I recommend this to you? I think yes. It's actually not bad and it protects your skin. It's got SPF 50. It's got an okay shade range. I'm quite happy with it but it definitely needs improvement. So if you can find your shade, go for it. Like it's actually really, really nice. Especially if you've got dry skin. Like my skin has not gone flaky or dry one bit and no smile lines. So big thumbs up from me. Thank you guys for watching and if there's, any, if there's any other like products you want me to try, let me know because I do make an effort to go buy them and get them as soon as possible to review for you guys. So, that's all for today. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!